You know, I've never promised anybody that I was going to be cooking healthy. I do promise that I will cook fun and I will cook food that you, you will eat. Now, today, I got something special for you. It's called what I call the embolism. You eat more than 10 of these a day, it's guaranteed to break something through in your artery system and that's it. You're dead. By the way, welcome. Welcome to another Fat Man of Glasses. Today we're going to be starting with some ingredients. This is a pan of hot oil. You want to probably get that up to about 325 to 350 degrees. You don't need it much hotter than that. What we're looking at from here is hot dogs. They're my favorite brand I have here. You're going to need a couple toothpicks, probably as many toothpicks as you have. Hot dogs. You'll need some cheese. I've got feta, cheddar, I've got a pepper jack cheese, and you are going to need one to two slices of bacon. This process begins with the hot dog. From the hot dog, we look at about a quarter of an inch in on each end, and we're going to cut in a pocket. So when you buy a hot dog, make sure it's a relatively thick dog. You'll cut the pocket halfway to three quarters of the way to the bottom of the wiener. You'll take your cheese, open up the dog, and put the cheese inside. We're not talking about a whole lot of cheese but put in as much as you think you can get away with. You put in too much and it's all going to leak out into the deep fryer. That's right. I said deep fryer. First time you heard that today, isn't it? <laughs> all righty then. We're going to get the bacon out and we begin to wrap the bacon around the hot dog. See how it seals the bacon on one end so it doesn't slip off during the deep frying process. We wrap it around about halfway over each side and then we take the second piece of bacon where we left off right here and we're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to wrap it over, wrap it over and again until we close it up on one end. Now it only takes one toothpick to hold this dog together. I prefer the frilly ones only because they're cute until you break them off. I love to break them off. I don't know what it is. I love to break them off. At this point, we're ready, ready for the cooking process. Now, I don't care who you are. That looks good already. Now, some of you may be inclined to salt it before you put it in. Put a little salt on your bacon. <laughs> you gotta love that. Don't. It'll actually ruin the oil and not give quite good cook time. All right, leave the salt off the bacon. Don't salt your bacon. Take that bacon, wrapped hot dog, and we place it gently into the oil, which we said was 350, 325 degrees. Now, oil is not something that you play with. When it becomes this hot, it becomes very flammable. The smallest flame will ignite this oil. Kids, don't even think about doing this without a parent. Do you understand me? Put this bad boy. We're just gonna lightly flip it over onto the other side. Now remember, the longer you cook this, the more cheese will come out. But if you wrap it well, the bacon will actually become a crust and hold all that great cheese on the inside. What we have here is a bun. This is the bun that's going to house this embolism. We open it up. I prefer the sourdough hoagie because they're nice and soft. We place that beautifully deep fried embolism on a plate and we get it ready to cover it. Now, we're ready to dress this bad boy. We take the toothpick out. Oh, ha oh, ha, the bacon stayed where it's supposed to. How about that? We're gonna add a little bit of sauerkraut. That's the way I like it. We're gonna add a pepperoncini in there. Could take a little bit of relish, put that over the top of it. And of course, we're going to finish it off with a little bit of mustard. Oh, <laughs> you wish you were here. Now you notice when we cut this in half, we've got lots of cheese still in there. We've got some bacon wrapped around the outside and this meat is done perfectly. Now, tonight, I've got a little friend to help me out. This is one of my boys. 
You've seen one of my boys before? I got more boys. I got more boys than you can count. Now, he's gonna come over here, grab the sandwich, and we're gonna see if uh, he can handle it. You like hot dogs? It's delicious. How do you know you haven't even bitten into it yet? Well, I know it's delicious because you made it. Ha <laughs> ha! See there? You can tell he's one of my boys. Ha 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 I love him. Try it now. What do you think? I'll put this on a plate with some chips and your favorite drink. What maybe would that be? Beer. Maybe root beer, maybe iced tea, whatever you're into. Guinness. Yum. 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 No oh, children were harmed in the making of this video. Yeah. Ten years from now, he keeps eating this way. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He may regret this film. But that's the way I cook. I never promised I would cook healthy. That's why I'm the fat man in glasses. At it? What? Is that it or what? Is that what? Is it over? I don't know. Eat your hot dog.